Well, we're off to Algonquin Provincial Park in uh, Ontario. I've been saying it's northern Ontario. Yeah. It's, it's what, eight, eight hours north of us here in Detroit? Right. And well, the people who live up there say, by no stretch of the imagination is Algonquin northern Ontario. Yeah, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I forget gotta, how big Ontario is. We gotta get is. out a map. Anyway. It's north it, to us. It's way north to us. Uh, but we're there, it's a beautiful park. We've never been there before. Uh, it's supposed to rain, but hey, we're gonna have a great time. This is gonna be one of our road trekking galleries. We do these uh, lots of times every year and uh, we can't wait to see our friends. Hey, but one thing, if you're thinking about going into Canada, uh, you need a passport uh, to get in, or you can use this. This is the uh, uh, passport card, and it's good for Canada, and it's good for Mexico. And that way you don't have to carry around your big passport. We we really like these. We both got things, and uh, they fit in your wallet. I put it right behind my driver's license, and that way, uh, wherever we are, if we want to go to Canada on the spur of the moment, uh, we can, and we don't have to worry about, oh, our pass cards are back in the safe at home. Oh, we, we got Bo. You can't see Bo very well. Bo is down. We don't have him strapped into his seat yet. But we got, can I show him that, Bo? Let me show him. Here we go. We got Bo. <laughs> a, uh, there's Bo. We got Bo a uh, pacifier. A pacifier. It's a boom, and uh, it's keeping him very happy in the uh, in the road track. He's forgotten his troubles. He's forgotten his troubles. There you go, Bo. Enjoy it. Yeah, it's slimy. It costs three bucks to cross the Blue Water Bridge into Canada. blue water isn't going to be blue today with this gray sky. No. Look at the lineup coming into the states. Holy cow. They're halfway across the bridge coming into the states. So the cost is uh, $3 US to cross and then coming back into the states it's $3.50. Go figure. Exchange rate. Yeah. Hello. Hello, thank you. You're welcome. All right, and now we uh, get on the Blue Water Bridge. It's always pretty. Yeah, we're crossing over the St. Clair River. Off to our left, can't really see it, is uh, Lake Huron. And uh, St. Clair River eventually connects to Lake St. Clair in the Detroit suburbs. And then from there, the Detroit River to Lake Huron, uh, Lake, uh, Lake Huron. Oh, no. So all these great lakes are connected. And we're now in Canada. Yeah, we'll use our cards. Do you have your card out? And we'll Slow down. Give our cards to the customs guys. Now, and you shouldn't wear sunglasses when you go through customs. They don't like that. They want to look at your eyes. <laughs> All right, here's our turn. Hi. Good morning. Anything to declare? Nothing to declare. Where are you going? Algonquin Provincial Park. Are you traveling with any firearms? No, sir. All right, have a good day. You too, thank you. So, that's about as nice as it can be. Uh, there is an exchange, a currency exchange booth here that we've used before. Speed bump. And uh, I'm not going to exchange any. We don't, uh, we, pretty much you can use credit cards anywhere, so. But uh, if you need to ever, in any border crossing, they always have a place to exchange to the local currency. So now we are in uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and again, these cards are so much nicer than having to carry around a big old passport. So, here we go, and we're getting on the 402, which is a uh, uh, big uh, interstate or freeway, or inner province, I guess we'd say, now that we're here in Canada. 
So we're not too far from Algonquin Provincial Park. We're on uh, Ontario 60, and uh, we looked at a, a map. And if we were to go west, where where are we? Where would we be, like in Michigan? Well, the bottom of the Upper Peninsula. So we'd be truly up north in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, but. Uh, Ontario actually goes several hundred miles more north, so I've been calling it, like I said, Northern Ontario. Well, it's kind of northern. I guess it's in the northern half, anyway. I don't even think it's that, Michael. Really? Right. Yeah, Ontario is a big... Problem. i got to get you a map. As we arrived at the campground, we found a big warning sign about bears in the area. Bo was on high alert. Our road checking gathering drew people from all over North America. We set up a big commons area for meals and fires and socializing. Our campground was right on the shores of one of Algonquin's many lakes. Algonquin is dotted everywhere with little tiny inland lakes, beautiful clean water, lake trout in there, this one happens to be Whitefish Lake, which is the campground where we're staying for our road trekking gathering. But uh, all throughout this massive park are little lakes like this. Canada's national and provincial parks are very dog friendly. And many of the little lakes like this one have dog friendly beaches. After hanging with our friends and taking a short hike with Bo, it was off to the visitor center. Uh, we're trying to do this with Bo, this stand up, and uh, <laughs> there's chipmunks running all along. And Bo, <laughs> he's on chipmunk mode. But hey, uh, this is a pretty cool place. It really is. It's a three quarter mile walk with all kinds of demonstrations about logging. Now, we've been to a lot of different uh, logging museums in the North Country, in Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. The white pine uh, has just uh, played a, an incredible role in the development of the North. And logging in the 1800s uh, was uh, the gold rush uh, of the time. Uh, but what makes this museum so neat is that all the displays are outside. And you walk along and you see them starting with the typical cabin house that uh, the lumberjacks lived in. And what's interesting about this is when the lumberjacks came, they said there was enough trees here for 700 years. They had depleted the trees in 70 years. Can you imagine that? This is what the lumberjacks lived in. They called this a Cambouche shanty. These are the bunk beds where they all lived. And uh, they had a central cooking area right here. Uh, can you imagine how it stunk in here? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many men, 50 men, but you can see there's lots of gaps in the, in the, uh, logs. In the logs. And you know, they got some cracks in the roof. This was not uh, a five-star motel out in the woods. And boy, they needed that heat, didn't they? They had a big centralized thing and then the chimney went up. I bet some snow and rain came in through that hole as well. Yeah. After the visitor center and the tour of the Lumberman's Museum, we set off hiking and exploring. The park has 15 major hiking trails offering beautiful views and overlooks and wonderful Northwoods solitude. Here's what it was like.
night fell, we were treated to a spectacular sunset. And then, overhead, the Milky Way in all its splendor, there is nothing like a North Woods night sky. As part of the gathering, we arranged to have rental canoes waiting for us, and every day we took to the water, enjoying the beautiful scenery. One evening, out on the lake, some of our campers had an unforgettable experience communicating, sort of, with a pack of Algonquin wolves. It was dusk, and off in the distance, you could hear some wolves. Um, but we had some friends out there wolf calling, so we mocked wolf calling back to them. They wolf called back to us, but then when we were real quiet, you heard the real wolves off in the distance and Mike it was so cool and you could be real quiet make a little pretend wolf call noise back to them wait a moment and you heard it coming back across the lake it was really awesome Algonquin is a big place. You really should allocate about a week to really explore it adequately. And I think late summer, early fall is a good time to go when the bugs aren't out. Yeah, the bugs can get pretty bad in the uh, summertime. We never did see that bear they said was hanging around the campground, nor do we see any of the uh, moose that supposedly frequent the area, but they tell us they're out there. Next time. Yeah, we had a great time at Algonquin. We think you will too. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching this video and please make sure you subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Happy trails!